take us from the darkness to the lightness, and the Islam is the lightness. Alhamdulillah, we have a new brother now, and I'm sure that all of us are happy. And I can see that from the faces that, Alhamdulillah, we have uh, a new Muslim, and I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to risk him and risk all of us, uh, all of us from the hell uh, fire. Uh, the brother know, and as you know as well, that as far as you became Muslim, that all previous sin deleted, gone. You, don't, you, you, are, you will be like a new baby. Alhamdulillah, this is big name as well from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What, what, what was done in the past is nothing now. And furthermore, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may transfer them to hasana, to merits. And alhamdulillah, this is good news for our brother that he became Muslim. He is now one in uh, his part of our, from our family, our Muslim community. And I'm sure that, alhamdulillah, he will be a righteous uh, brother as well. Uh, now, Brother Harun, inshallah, will uh, ask him to make shahada. And the sister, the sister there as well, she will repeat the shahada behind him, inshallah. Mubarak. Jazakallah, thank you. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, ya rabbil alameen, aw rahman, aw rahim, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasul al-kareem. <coughs> My dear respected brothers of Nottingham, this um, person, his name is Jack, um, and he has been looking into Islam for about four days or four weeks? Uh, maybe about a week and a half now. A week and a half now, but his partner has been looking into Islam and urging him to look into Islam for the past year, yeah. since Ramadan last year. So um, the sister is upstairs, uh, Sister Chelsea, she's upstairs. She will also say the Shahada and become a Muslim as soon as Brother Jack says the Shahada as well. Um, obviously we cannot hear them say the Shahada <laughs> upstairs, but she'll say it with the four or five sisters are upstairs as well. Um, Brother Jack, you believe wholeheartedly that there is no one worthy of being worshipped except for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah the Most High. Yes. Only He is worthy of being worshipped and nothing else is worthy of being worshipped. Yes. And you believe wholeheartedly that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, peace and blessings upon him, he is the last and final messenger to mankind. Yes. You believe in this. Yes. And you believe that all of the previous prophets that Allah has sent, uh, the Prophet Isa, the Prophet Nuh, the Prophet Ibrahim, the Prophet Musa, Moses, Abraham, King uh, David, Solomon, all of the previous prophets that Allah sent, they were all Muslims. Yes. They were messengers, they were Anbiya, they were prophets. Yes. And they were, they were sent by Allah to guide mankind back to the true religion that is Islam. Yes. Islam means, in, from Arabic, it means submission to the will of the one true God. And only when you submit yourselves to God, to Allah, to that one God, to that one being, then you are a Muslim and you will acquire the peace. So you agree with everything I'm yeah. saying? <coughs> so what you will say in Arabic now is, in English, translated into English, is basically, I testify that there is no one worthy of being worshipped except Allah. And I testify that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his slave and messenger. Yeah. So you'll say that in Arabic. So if you just repeat after me. <coughs> Ashhadu. Ashhadu. An la. An la. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illallah. Illallah. Wa ashhadu. Wa ashhadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Abduhu. Abduhu. Wa rasuluhu. Takbir. 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 Congratulations, Brother uh, Jack. Um, you are our brother in Islam. You are our family. If you have any hardship, if you have any problems at all, we are all here for you. It is incumbent upon all of us to help you, to educate you, to give you the knowledge of the religion, and to bring you to Jan Jannat al Firdaus to paradise with us so that we can be sitting together on thrones in Jannah inshallah and uh, he, he can choose any name any 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 good Islamic name he can uh, I was thinking all this time that Jack is probably most likely a short version of Jacob Jacob uh, in Hebrew the Arabic alternative for that is Yaqub Yaqub was the um, was a prophet of Allah 
he was the he was the grandson of Abraham of Ibrahim alayhi uh, there are only four prophets in Islam that we know of who are all related father and son so you have Abraham his son he had two sons Ishmael and Isaac um, is, 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 uh, Ishmael, no sorry, um, Isaac had a son called Jacob and Jacob had a son, a very famous son called Joseph. Mm. Joseph is well written in the Bible, uh, many people know about Joseph and the technicolor dream code, yeah. Joseph. Uh, so it's up to you if you want to choose the name Yaqub because obviously your name is Jack. Uh, derived from Jacob, but it's entirely up to you. you uh, I think the most beloved names to Allah is Abdurrahman and Abdurrahim, I think. They are the, both the names that are beloved to Allah. So, but it's entirely up to you. I mean, I've named my son Muhammad and the one after that Isa. So, um, so it's entirely up to you. Muhammad is the world's famous name uh, at the moment. Uh, uh, that is the name that uh, is, the, is, is number one at the moment that people name their children Muhammad yeah. uh, because Muhammad means the praised one okay the, uh, the praised one <laughs> but you can keep your name as well it's, it's entirely up to you yeah. is there any other questions before we embrace the brother uncle? no? Zakaria? Zakaria there's many names inshallah I'll give him you know a choice a list to, to choose from uh, so inshallah, shall we embrace the brother and welcome, in, welcome him into the uh, deen inshallah. Jazakallah oh. khair. Subhanallah walhamdulillah wa la ilaha illa Allah 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 yeah, um, well, my girlfriend um, Chelsea was researching Islam since just before Ramadan last year, um, and I've always been a strict atheist myself. Like I've, I've always just tried to stay away from. I, I don't know. I, I had this negative impression um, without even researching, so I didn't know. And she she kept saying to me, "Oh, you should research. It's really interesting. You know, the science of behind it and and everything is just amazing." Um, and I just I just kept not listening and thinking, "Oh, you know." Um, but I thought eventually I'll um, I'll read the Quran. I'll read part of the Quran and just see what what she's talking about. Uh, I think I read 12 pages, and then I sat down and I thought I feel like such a fool because she was right. It's it's incredible. Just in those 12 pages, even though I didn't take it all in properly because it was a lot, um, it just felt right. I was talking, I was watching YouTube videos uh, from a guy in Australia who taught me a lot through his videos and um, and he said he can put me in touch with somebody like in my in my area um, and then that's when uh, Haroon got my number and he, he rang me uh, and he, he helped me, he told me a lot, he answered all my questions um, and we, we arranged the, the, the visit to the mosque um, and and I was, I was so sure even in a week and a half that I wanted to take my child and I wanted to become Muslim. It was, it was like a leap of faith, I, I, I had to, I, I just thought to myself after everything I've read and everything I've seen and the proof is there, and not that I needed the proof, but it's there, there's no way that I could deny it. I went to like a Christian school and, and it was just like, I think as a child we had to sing the hymns and or we'd get told off and that pushed me away from it, I thought I shouldn't have to do that. Um, and. I looked at Islam, I didn't actually really research any other religions, but this was the only one that I could see from other people, what other people told me that had all the pieces and they could, they could show you, you know, that it was, it was the word of Allah. I told my mum that I was researching Islam um, and uh, she, I think because she loved me so much, she was like, oh, okay, but I think on the inside she was a little bit, um, a little bit nervous, like she said, obviously she's, she's a great mum, all she wants to do is make sure I'm okay, and she's like, oh, I'll just make sure you know everything first. I feel, this, this feels so right to me that even though I'm going to keep contact with my family and I'm going to work 
my heart is to try and make them understand. I'm not going to push anything on them, but they, I'm going to make sure that they understand that this is who I am now uh, and that I'm not changing. You know, I'm, I'm still me.